Lantern. Today I'll be making almond milk. Uh, we know that almond has uh, rich in vitamin E, dietary fiber, B vitamins, essential min minerals, uh, copper like copper, magnesium, calcium, manganese, and potassium. I have here uh, one half cup of uh, almond which I soaked overnight in water. I'll be adding two cups of water. But if I want the almond milk to be thicker, I'll just uh, make one and one half cup. But uh, since I use this uh, almond milk for my smoothie, so it's okay to me for just to make it two cups. We will blend the almond in 30 or so seconds. Check out if uh, it's done. Okay. It's bubbles. There are a lot of bubbles in the container. Now I will use this uh, cloth to place the almond milk inside so it will, we will just strain, strain it with the cloth and place it here in our container so you can see. I like the taste of almond on my smoothies, it's, it's richer, it's not animal milk but it's a plant milk because it's almond, healthier, see the, we just press this one down so the, the milk will just go down. And it's just it is being strained. As I say, if we want this uh, a thicker milk, we have to reduce the amount or the volume of the water. So for this uh, demo that I'm used, making, I used uh, one half cup of almond and two cups of water. Make sure that every bit of the almond milk is uh, pressed on. Okay, when you do, when I do uh, this, uh, uh, make an almond, I have to make sure that I wash my hands fully clean and well and uh, sanitize my hands. I'm sure that uh, the milk will be clean because we are not using preservative and uh, they should go for like three recipes of smoothies and um, the pulp that I that is uh, that I I will retain the pulp and use this on my smoothies too so there's no refuse actually that we don't uh, throw this away we just uh, place this on the ref or freeze it and when I make my almonds, and I need almonds for my smoothies, I just take a few scoop of spoons on this one, so I can use it on my on my smoothies, vegetable even on my fruit smoothies. Now we have the milk in here. Let's let's test and uh, let's check. It's 
bubbly. Now we have the almond milk here. We have to we just place this in a bottle so I would have to, to preserve the freshness of the milk and then use it on our smoothies. This uh, um, if I want to uh, uh, to have some taste, I place some drops of agave or agave nectar, and it's ready to drink. This was uh, this uh, session is so quick, so we're able to make almond milk out of half cup of almonds, which I soaked for overnight. If you have time. You can also try and do this. If, that's why if you want to make it thicker, you reduce the amount of water or if you want it this way, just a one half cup of almond to two cups of water. That's all for today's session, folks. Hope you get some insights on this uh, activity that we have done. Um, appreciate if you will continue visiting our website, sibanga360.net. We have uh, placed a separate uh, category for this one, which is raw to raw foods. Um, that's uh, on the blog site, and all the videos are being archived on YouTube. Do some tumblering on the other side. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.